Rod Harrington, have you ever seen Phil Taylor looking as relaxed as that ahead of a major final? I haven't, David. It's been like that all night. I mean, just before he he's had his walk on, he was messing about. He's having a little box with me just here, and uh, that before a major final like this, you know, he's incredible. It must feel you full of confidence, though, when you've averaged nearly 108 and demolished a player of the quality of Mervyn King. Yeah, it does. Well, that's what Phil does to everybody. But James Wade has got to go up there now. He knows he can score as well as Phil. The one thing that James has been letting himself down on in this Premier League is his checkout, that double top. Now, he's going to give himself chances. He's got to take this double top and take the chances he's given himself. It will be some story if James Wade, who lost the first three matches in the Premier League campaign, looked like there was no chance of him qualifying, went on to win the tournament and defend his title. Well, it just shows you what the Premier League gives you. It gives you chances, Dave. And if he does do that, if he beats Phil up here in the next hour, James Wade will move to a new plateau in this game. His confidence, his ability will all go with it. And he'll be a different player, literally, overnight. Look at Taylor laughing, joking. Yeah, I know. Well, that's Phil, in it? I mean, he, he's up there thinking he's already won it. That's the confidence. His belief in his own ability is incredible. And he, and he is. And sometimes, this may be a little bit of gamesmanship, you know. He may be saying to James, well, I'm all relaxed. How are you feeling, you know? James may be looking at Phil going, what's going on here? <laughs> you know, just putting him off guard a little bit, because Phil's very good at it. Phil Taylor to go an entire season in the Premier League unbeaten would be, uh, again, another little bit of history for him. Well, another target that Phil set himself. He always sets himself targets, realistic targets, because of his, his ability. And, uh, well, we're going to find out in the next hour. Throwing for the ball to get things underway. Yeah, well, 25, that'll have to be retrieved. Uh, Phil, wouldn't surprise me if you don't put that straight in the red bit. He wants to throw first, he wants to win everything. It's close. They have to retrieve the dart every time, no matter where it goes, even if it goes outside of that 25, the dart is retrieved. And now it's Phil. He's got his business head on now, you can see. Yeah, he ain't smiling now, Dave, is he? He don't want to have a little box with James up there now. 25. You can see the grimace on his face, not hitting the bullseye. Well, that's a bad dart from James, a little bit quick on that, so Phil's going to get what he wants to throw first. OK, let's hand over to our uh, commentary team, Sid Waddell and Dave Lanning. When giants collide, the expressions irresistible force and immovable objects come to mind. But uh, to continue the musical theme, if Phil Taylor 96. is to be contained, then this man, James Wade, will have to accent you ate the positive because Taylor has been at his most omnipotent. So Dave yeah, Lennon starts to support the end, it's omnipotent. Chalkers coming there now, I'm sure Stephen Fry would like. We asked him for a stage character to match this man. He said, Othello. But we think 95. he's a colossus who had bestrode the world of darts. But this man holds the title, be king a year ago, and Taylor beat him 16 here two years ago, and Taylor has resented that ever since. Because he wants everything. He has the best form of greed in sport. Greed for glory. Beautiful, perfect dog, Dave Lanning. Yes, if you just joined us, we should tell you it's the best of 19 legs, first to 10, and uh, it's the 501 distance, of course. This is James Wade throwing a 20 gram unicorn dart there, the lightest in the Premier League against Phil Taylor, a 26 gram, which uh, by comparison are the heaviest. So just six grams between them. 140. Yeah, great difference in the projectiles. Taylor is beaten by Wade, Manley, Jenkins in the Premier League two years ago, and then chose these bomber darts instead of his knit needle darts. They were difficult to throw. Then he did 116 100. average for a world James record Ball, against John Park. He came in on 108 average, having beaten Mervyn King. James only 96. We'll have to up the ante. Double eight to give it Andy. James oh, Riley! Yes, sir! James Wade! As they say on the boards. Well, what a start from Wade there. It's the Second finish on 136. He started with 118. And that really was something 
very special. Wade in the mood, and he has hit Phil Taylor with a very crisp uppercut in the first round. In the Premier League in the last two years, he's the only man to beat this man twice. Beat him in Glasgow, then he beat him in Aberdeen in 09. Now you have got was Coventry beat in the second time, but he is the ball that James Wade in that match earlier against Whitlock went 4 1 in no time to win. Then got double trouble, but the flow of that arm, it is instinctive talent on facing 100. manufactured talent. Said that Harry Bristol did not make him a player, he made him a winner. We shall see. Perfect dot to continue. What's that magic nine? There's an ocean to the left of the marker. 180. We're on the edge of our seats. And Aberdeen went bonny. Did the nine daughter. They call it 100. Phil required 147 the shot then for a nine dart finish from Philip Taylor. Hold your breath. Yeah. Travel 17. Double 18 for a moment of history. Yes. He did it! He did it! Phil and my daughter in answer. I do not believe my goggling bins. Well, there is Philip Taylor, and there is his opponent. And that you have joined in and shared a moment again of sporting majesty and television history. Absolute brilliant, Barney Allen won a few weeks ago. Taylor did that just to shout. He tried to beat Mervyn King 8-0 earlier. And he has given the perfect to answer. Throwers. We had about 7,000 people who should have got in last night. They're making enough noise these lot tonight. About 2,500. It's certainly worth coming here, Div. Well, if you had any doubt at all about the quality of the dark play coming your way, let us just remind you, James Wade won the first leg with a 180 start and a 136 checkout. And Philip Taylor has just done a magical nine dart finish. It simply does not get better than that. In the league itself, which we've been playing for 14 weeks in Belfast. Taylor Hammond Wade 8-2, 105 average. In Sheffield, in week 10, Wade should have won. That was 7-7. Seven, seven. This is a, he's in such a mood. He practiced boxing with Stephen Fry. He really boxed me, punched me in the plexus. He played pool with Tommy Cox. He's as relaxed as a guy on Blackpool Beach. Taylor. Incredible. Taylor at back of stage there. 84. Looked like he was doing an impression of Liberace playing the piano. Quite remarkable. Look at those averages. It's absolutely towering. Remember world record 116, <laughs> 130, which he did against Hart at Aberdeen in the league last year. That is under duress tonight. Right at the top of uh, this evening, Sid, I said we had an extra day and uh, the feeling was it was going to be extra special. It has been extraordinarily special. If it goes on at this pace, well, this, it will, if it goes on like this, it'll be the greatest start smash ever likely to be seen. 100. 104.5 would handle most. Not the powers on world record form. The phenom who did three nine daughters in 06, who's won three major titles, including the match player Blackpool. The holder in the black against the stoky, coky, useless act for the lie. Has to come for cover. Tops for more. Oh. Game show. It's, in the it's incredible! If you're watching we'll funny and another general out, first. this is something else! Well, we are rapidly running out of superlatives. Taylor, nine data. 100. James Wade, a 136 checkout. Taylor, 110 checkout. Somebody ring the Guinness Book of Records. That's settled for a glass of fizzy water at a pour of rust to Dave. The tongue is feeling the tungsten heat here. How did he use that line? I'm telling you, this is special. I've been doing this for 33 years, Dave, for about 40. This is a special match. The holder. 
up against 100. Taylor's gone for five. Premier League wins to add to that cabinet that includes 15 world tags. He's hit in the middle of the bottom of the bed. This will be brilliant. Magic. If he can get this in at the right, he's brilliant. Oh, oh no! Use the central line. Fantastic. <laughs> It just goes on and on, doesn't it? Quite terrific. And if there's any doubts at all, as we said, about sheer quality, this is the best there is in this business. And uh, this crowd here who have responded magnificently are really having a feast of arrow play. 55. It's terrific. Stephen Fry said, oh, yeah, the parallel with was control as well as relaxation apparent paradox right. two balls double 16 says our spot at Keith Della Good two beat. red bits Trevor 19 would leave the ball wherever he did this in Blackpool and now the ball how much of it can he see Oof. 86 he is human Danger requires 64. Treble. Eight. Usually good here. Red bit. It's a handy lie. Has the dip. Quarter of an inch. Game <laughs> shot. The and uh, there's Taylor acknowledging that Wade has ridden first. a Game really one. heavy punch and has come back and it's all square. And as our friend Stephen Fry's old sparring partner, Bertie Wooster, would say, this is the butter on the spinach. 140. Oh, well, I'd prefer a bit of peace pudding in the middle of that sandwich, Dave. <laughs> but I'd gobble it up. This is magic. Perfect lie by Weird. Got a take on the wrong side. The holder. 80. Trying to hang on to the kill cuts of the Stoke Whirlwind. Sitting on 117. Jim is just below a ton. Taylor there, taking himself down, but uh, maybe with a ton, ton 40, ton 80 here. And remember, this is against the throw for Wade. If he wins this leg, it could be important. And coming in, Wade had a 90-point average against Whitlock. Fail 100 near average against Mervyn King. And wait for this, no one in leg, more than 15. That is the statistical underpinning. 55. To the power, and they know it. They are loving it here at Wembley on the hill. Wade, his uh, three dot average, as you can see from our captioning, had just slipped below triple digit, 100. as they say in America. Taylor's still up there. Absolutely mountainous, 112, nearly 113. And still piling it on. Mr. Yeah, Yabba, he's finding the bottom of the... 120. Three Indians in the floor. Yes, it was. Clearly, and we should remind you that uh, the score does not count unless the point of the dart is in contact with the board at the moment of retrieval. So that was 54, as you rightly said, Sid, 100. on the floor. Do we require 86? 14 Donner coming in, weird right on his heels there. Treble 18 leaves double seven. Across the board, four, two seven. So again, so on that precise millimeter, he Six wanted. Legs, yeah, he so near the wire, it looked magnetized. And still, despite this hurricane assault from Taylor, Wade is still in this match and could go into the break at three apiece. It has been the most absolutely brilliant opening session of darts I think we have seen, Sid, and that's saying something. He's on fire. He's in every part of that 60. He's on the stacking. Over stacking. Hokey cokey stacking tonight. You know, Sid, we, we've never ever seen two nine darters in one night. Could this possibly be it? 100. That's what he's thinking. Two in one night, because he's that sort of lad. Greedy for the glory of Tungsten. Perfection, unlucky son! And you saw by the expression on his face 99. that he was thinking about it. That man's incorrigible. 
Brilliant lie, brilliant setup, brilliant angle, brilliant lie, still there, the central dot. And unquestionably, the form of Phil Taylor is bringing out the very best in James Wade, and that means it's pure magic. Well, I'll take you back to Knott's last year, when we'd be Jenkins 8-1, 108 average 8-180s, then have six against Taylor. He can do 4180s in a night, James. He might be pushed to do that here, to handle the power in this form. The power's now averaging 117. And uh, Wade needed this 1-2-1 one, one because Taylor on 45 81. in this mood. So check this out 45. for a convincing gap in the scores. Pivotal! Pivotal to put two legs of air between him and the challenge. The holder! To the sick leg. Trips behind! 4-2! And now you can re-feast your eyes on how the power replied to a 1-0 scoreline by his opponent. Three in that red bit. Here is the final shot. Coming up now. Dot six. Final three dots now for the nine donor. This in answer to an aggressive, cocky opponent. Devil 18, magic. Possibly a second one coming up from him. Welcome back to the White and Mackay Premier League final where the standard of darts like that has been little short of stratospheric. Wade and Taylor locked in an absolute classic. And it is Taylor at 4-2 with an average of 115 who leads this final. He's done a nine dart finish. That's the way the score stands. Wade has been matching punch for punch. It has been simply sensational. Has it ever? He was 1 0 down. It did that just to get back in the way to your ninth daughter. First time he's televised and ending to the ninth daughter. Double 18. You are seeing something very, very special. He's sitting on an average of 115.5 and he's making it look easy. Mind he did 118.5 against Anderson a few months back and 99. he did 116 against Park Televise that last one in Aberdeen he's in the mood to break the world record folks take it from David Sid yes of course uh, finishing on a double 18 which we haven't seen before 16. but just a reminder and I'm sure old timers who watched the first ever nine dark finish on television back in October 1984 John Lowe finished on double 18 that night so in a way Phil Taylor just stirring up to some fascinating memories for long-standing darts fans. And the doyen of darts commentator as Dave Lannan picked up 12 grand on a bet. And you can't tell in his voice. Go listen. Lovely second dart by Wade. Beautiful. 100. Got the weight of the dart right now. Look at that. The deliberate use of the barrel to bounce it. This is ominous. This accuracy. This is phenomenal. Side stacker even. 120. Oh, well, that was unlucky. Just watch it again. You'll see it was going into the treble segment and just picked up the, on impact. The darts already in the target and that uh, threw it onto the deck. Unlucky from Phil Taylor. He's lost, what, he lost two or three darts now, see, but still throwing 115 average. Quite, quite astonishing. Quite, quite astonishing. Bull double 16. Ooh, just a smidgen too much shoulder power in that. 102. And I'll remind you of a match in Coventry in 09 when James was 4 1 down to Barney, did 7 on the trot with an average of 120. He's still in this, is weird. 100. And now Do Philip Taylor with three clean darts at double top. He would not get a bet against him missing. That's one. Above the wire, still. The target Ooh, is open. Yes, yeah, that infinitesimal Who's move that? across the board. The accuracy. The Split the difference perfectly to the lie on 66% of the bed. And Wade not got the rhythm to use the lie well. 60. Slack visit. Got to win this leg yes, or else has. Wade is history. Yes, he has. And it would take a monumental effort if he were to go 6-2 down against Taylor in this mood against uh, 113 average. 
Well, there's no man on the planet that could live with that. No question, no man in the galaxy. Well, I've been getting a lot of stick about me stackers. In fact, I'm called Hayseed in some circles. <laughs> but he has developed the side stacker. Wait for it. 90. Yes. Sid Waddell and his old stack magic. Dave Lannan, as usual, got me under his spell. M A J I C. Spells magic. 100. Well, it, it, it is just such an enormous pleasure, isn't it, to be here, to be present, to watch a master like Taylor at work. He's being fully extended. James Wade isn't being blown away. 140. Normal cornfields, chaff is blown away. You are looking at a class act, James Weir, the holder of this title, the Mervyn King. There we go. Brilliant use of the last start. Yes, the four finals you know that Taylor has won, Sid. Uh, opponent never got more than eight legs in the final. He's dominated the finals, but he's certainly not dominating James Wade. Terrific. Again, wonderful repost from Wade, leaving him a shot. And he'll have a poke at it because Taylor can't finish on 201. Wade has actually dominated this leg against Taylor at his peak. Only that... a, sorry, only a 96 average coming into this against Whitlock. He's put his average 40. up with to 103. This to peg back. That's halfway to Neasden. That's not! In the A flag, James Wade. Field to throw so Taylor with the throw, we watch Game again one. as uh, Wade cleverly appeared to use the first start uh, as a roll off the barrel special into the double. Taylor again, imperious. 140. Both come from darting families, Jim's grandma, great player. Played against his family, got real good really early from a world youth champion. Taylor, brilliant, could average about 95 60. when he was 17. Decided to be the John Travolta of Burslem. Got a white suit, was out of the game till he was 26. Then met Bristol and rest. It's tungsten history, Dave. 100. Sounds like a kind of fairy tale that our guest Stephen Fry might talk about. Granny Wade and her magic darts from Aldershot. Wonderful. Well, anybody who can call a book. Moab, be my washpot. There you go. 100. I saw the lad. There you go. Seeing you, dentist pal. <laughs> well, we had the twilight of the god yesterday. 100. When Barry Hunt forgot to put 50 pence in the electric meter, but we're supercharged with tungsten electricity tonight. And Taylor on with an opportunity again for another party piece finish, 138, Three, four, well within his range in this mood for 6-3, 1-3-8, the kill. Looking at treble, 20. Treble. Slacker's dart, he's thrown at the cover, that's... 96. Taylor's gone 147, check out 110, James 136. Got a puncture a hole in 283 here. Has to get another treble to have put a whisker of pressure on the power. Fury required. But Taylor's got six starts at four at 42 for a 6-3 lead. Now double 16. Just grinning at him. Needs finesse. Needs delicatesse down the barrel. Oh! Didn't get enough contact on the line. Taylor knows he'll be back with Wade unable to check out on 183. 85. Taylor's missed two dots in the double. 32. He hasn't been that uh, careless right throughout the match. Once again, double 16. No cover this part. Well, a little kill like glitch there. Means his average is to be 110. Beautiful. Control to the left. No, too straight a line. Ugly shot. Too ugly shot. Should he use the central line better? Now Taylor has lost with one, two, three darts on the deck and he's had two darts in the double, he's missed three darts in the double, he's missed and he's still averaging over 110. Such is the majesty 100. of his marksmanship. And we are playing with the proof of ten legs here. Winner gets 125,000 quid, which will bar 
will make Junior Walls. Whoa. And a swimming pool for Phil Taylor. They are loving it. Wade, as I say, only average 96. Earlier against Whitlock. There is no question that Phil Taylor's tonight and his form has brought out the very best in James Wade. Wade hasn't played as well as this right throughout the Premier League. And he's still getting a little bit of a Towsling. 100. Good old Anglo-Saxon words. Like Towsling, what you want. Till six out of ten pops at the double. James, three out of five. Again, a perfect dart by the power. Mm. Yeah, slack, lazy movement on that one. Yeah. 100. Brilliant reuse of the lie. Challenge requirement 121. 121. Taylor on 130. And Wade needs this leg. 17. Treble 17. Now the bullseye. Bomb Wade. Taylor. Oh, 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 match from match. Jim He's left in his average to 101.5. Yeah, He's Matt Taylor's two to plus progress. finishes. We got game a game on, on here. And Wembley. Oh, here comes Taylor back, roaring One like the old Wembley Lions of old. And Taylor again has set up a potential nine dark finish. It just goes on and on and on. Quite Have brilliant. Been done a nine dark in leg two. Because James had the front one to take. There you go, and Aker, a barn door for Dodd, five. He hates it, he yeah. hates it. There is absolutely no question 99. at all that Philip Taylor is thinking about making a further piece of darting history by achieving two nine dart finishes on the same night set. You can see it in his expression when one is just infinitesimally off target. Infinitesimably? You've been talking to Stephen Fry, you! <laughs> Big words, big talent, big game. Our final. The 14 green weeks. He's throwing like a stoky dream. I still let oh, Perfect last dot. Which leaves him a two dot potential finish. Should be ball double 16 with uh, Wade a long way back here. Looking to trail again. 16. By three legs, Taylor. Just in command, getting a stranglehold on the match, Sid. Pippin in the middle. Oh. Two 16s. Four, seven, four! Oh, oh. An 11 he actually three missed that by so a quarter of an inch. That first. was meant to be south. Biggest leg of the match, dear. James has got to take this one. Yes, it is. It's the biggest one for James Wade, certainly. 58. He's played some beautiful legs, brilliant legs. But if, if Taylor gets a, a four-leg advantage this near, then that's a £125,000 prize for be winging its way to Stoke. Sure. Well, to be 100. clinical, he lives in a mansion. Yeah, crew now. But he's still a Burnham lad at art. They're loving it. Have you are at home. Perfect line. Perfect hit. Any way you like, James. Half the M25 to win, Matt. 140. Yes, it would seem that he'd done a difficult part there with the first two darts. There was uh, seemingly plenty of room, but he missed the travel. Taylor under stacking here. Oh, I'll cite a game when he beat Barney 8 4 with 108 average. 43. In week three, in commentary in 09, six legs on the trot at 120 average. Big lie, big lie. 100. Should have been in the red bit that day. Yes, and if Taylor comes piling in here with 180, it would uh, turn this leg around. There's still room, one thinks, to the left hand side of that first dart. He went for it 100. just too high. The dart was too central, the mark oh, was about quarter of an inch, no, eighth of an inch too high in the lie. That's not, though. Looking good, looking good for a pop to make it 7 4. 85. Pop to make a 7-5 check, that's a shot. Yes, and once again, Taylor will be hoping to rattle his bones here with a big uh, reminder, but he's still out back. Yes, going to. Might be 18s here, you know. 138. Exchange your 180. I'm not sure if rattling bones 
Dave. I think he wants to grind his bones to make oat cakes. Spot 18. A vital dart. He's got to watch the flight. Dubs. 78. Could that be the moment that James Wade lost this final? Taylor on the classic Shanghai finish on 20s. Needs the treble. Two balls now. The two balls was the only shot because he blocked the 60. The whole oh. Blocked the 60 Danger and made the decision. To pull it tighter. Just can't afford to miss, Wade. Can't afford to miss. Gets it! Wow! Game on! He's holding on to the coattails of a tungsten comet. It's a classic match. James Wade, the holder, trails their power. 7 5. We have got Legacy Spin Tungsten here in Wembley. It's a night of true darting magic here at Wembley. Philip Taylor has hit James Wade with one of Manchester darting Exocet missiles. And uh, Wade here refuses to capsize. It has been terrific, Sid. The best television final we've seen in some time. Well, yes, matches last year's Las Vegas final when Taylor beat Barney 13 11. This is the nip and tuck is we've seen in a long time and the mood the mood Dave Lannan is the thing Taylor is like a kid at a birthday party he's been joking with everybody playing a bit of pool cracking first. jokes Game on. there is the champ and there is the protocol and there is the business face and oh. who will have the kick a vital kick now is going to be crucial if it's Taylor it could carry him past the checkered flag to 125,000 pounds. Has James Wade, this fella here on the mark, that's James Wade. Has he got a final flourish? Remember, he's the holder. Nervin King, here we go. Playing for a first prize of 125,000 pounds. David may remember when you won a mini and a kiss from Diana Dawes. What? Great average, 112 now. Enough. And the 13th leg. And he's hungry for more and more power. That's a lovely lie right in the middle. Went for the most difficult side. That was a bad shot. There was room. Half the bed left. Pies this. First to 10, the winner. Just under the wire. That's like a dot. 43. 43. The door open to zip to a one deficit. Dave Lannan, this is better than working for a living. Well, it's one of those nights again uh, that we'll be sitting and talking about Sid in maybe 20, 30 years' time. Do you remember that night at Wembley when Taylor 54. and Wade stood up and exchanged heavyweight blows in the final of the Premier League? But which of these players has the knockout touch. Well, it's Taylor who punched Stephen Fry, punched me in the ribs, I think he even shot a box to one of the walk-on girls. He was so relaxed. What a match. James has had his average up from beating King, where it's about 97. It's been as high as 105. Who you require 122? All right, that uh, has thrown down the gauntlet to Taylor. He needs 122, should be 18s here. Oh. Now then, he'll stay there, I'm sure. Now he wants the bullseye. What a finish this would be! Just pulled it left! They have champed James then. The phenomenal talent that is James Weird is Taylor. Like, oh, isn't that be awkward, awkward, awkward. The weight is everything. The weight's got to be inside the flight. 
It's now Harry Houdini's job. How do you get through? Four feet along the hockey. Is it in? 16. Nowhere near. You needed to be a surgeon for that 24. one. Taylor on 25. Wade had three darts at a double here. How many will Phil Taylor need? Double it. On the wire. We'll probably go south. Half an inch. Clean bit. 17. Mid. To make the deficit a single leg. 16. Sick is a chip in boiling fat. The power. One leg deficit. Across the board. Two, fours! Down the bottom, double two! Game <laughs> the 13th. You round. could not make it up, could you? Taylor looks pensive. He knows he had three darts at a double. That's the most expensive leg he's had. Leg. But James there is Rover. the dart that decided it. Game and on. it's kept this White and Mackay 125,000 pound final absolutely wide open. Well, we've had a theatrical twist all night. There's Ibsen, there's Shakespeare. This is this is this is pantomime. This is oh yes he will. Oh no he won't. It's edge of the seat stuff. We don't have a demon king. Oh, Taylor. Taylor, the winner of this title four times in two five. Thinks the title should be his. Forty-eight. Now, Taylor, who has had things pretty much his own way right through the Premier League certainly knows he's in a rare old rough and tumble but this man is the only human being walking the planet who's beaten him twice in the league 57. the first man to beat him oh wait beat him oh nine choir boys on the weekend off Tongues locked with tension. Slag dot should have been in. Should have used the light better, Div. Yes, and Wade still got daylight on the scores and the throw to level the scores. Seven of base. A final could go either way. You have to acknowledge the resilience of James yeah. Wade. Terrific. Perfection. Took the line beautifully laterally. Then went lateral to the corner. He's got to repeat the process left to right. Does it? He's made a great lie left. Oh, he went right. Game on now. Game on now. <laughs> well, Wade has left himself a bogey finish, but uh, there wasn't much he could do about that in, in truth. And Taylor can't finish either. What a leg this has been, Sid. Well, as I say, came back with six legs against Barney in the Premier League, 120 average. It's quite capable of dishing the power as the holder. Nowhere near. Four. A 30, level four. game then. James, you require yes, and James Wade was 6 3 down. He was 7 4 down. But he could go Top all the way here. Tops again. Four James times Wade. winner of this title plays the holder. You'll never get play, a better bid on Sport on game your on. box. Who's got the bottle? I'm loving these cliches like who wants it. Whose technique will give a millimetre of escape? He used the middle middle line. He used the two barrels. He got hard out Isaac Newton. That was an apple falling. The third dot by Taylor. James chasing him there. And whispered again, Sid. Uh, there's a nine dollar in prospect here. Taylor hits another 180 or 177. Did a ninth daughter in leg two with having won the first leg. He's after it again. What a gasp they'll be able to get this one. one He's on it! Again! He's on it again! He did it in leg two! Well, whoever thought I was gonna say this but watch James Wade. One I called one Sid. It's your turn three to three possibly three call a second three for the first time in darting history. They are both coming down in nine daughter style first pop. Treble 19. Double 12! Yeah. Dave Lennon, say it! Because I'm gobsmacked! I am gobsmacked! Say it, Dave! You are present in a moment of the greatest sporting history, certainly in darts. Two nine darters in one night from Phil Taylor. Tell your grandchildren about that. That's the dart that did it for Phil Taylor, and that is historic. Dave Lennon said in leg five, he thought Phil was after two, why got good? Two nine daughters in a one match. Six 
Yes, you flanked. You better leave it. But you first. must, because it's here on your box. Well, game on. We really have to beg your pardon while we get our breath back, because this is a very, very special night. And he's only, just got, he's only just got the lead with the throw, and he's done two line darters. Just shows you how good the other bloke is. James Wade, the only man to be tail and all the years the league's been on since 05. He's the only man, only man who's ever won two games in the Premier the League, and he's thinking about it again. Yes. He won straight nine daughters in the same game. Well, <laughs> we just really can't keep going like this, surely. We're going to explode. Oh, here. Well, some people say we use hyperbole, we don't, we use life boy. What a man. He's going for the nine daughter again. He's on it again. Hardest shot in the world. The understacker. He gets it again. It's on it again. This is incredible. He's yeah. done it. He's done it. He's on for the third nine daughter in the match. The crowd are going bananas. And there has never, ever, ever been a night in darting history and possibly not in sporting history where we've Three, seen this. 147. He's done it once, Sid. You call it, mate. This is for his third nine daughter. On it. Treble. Mr. Treble. 17. And he is as sick as a chip in a McCain's factory. <laughs> you have seen something that me and Dave Lannan are drooling about. Well, isn't this a wonderful occasion? And isn't this a great cry? Because they responded to that. And the spirit of this night will be something that will live with all of us who have been present. 131. Going to do a 10 darter here, I think. So two nine darters and a 10 darter from Taylor. And the champ, the reigning champ, trying to go down in a blaze of glory. But taken from Sidwell Allen, Dave Lanning, you have seen a night of sporting history. Two hits! Uh, that's a 10 dark finish and the crowd although they acknowledge it amazingly are disappointed at that that's how brilliant Taylor has been and it's a credit to this man James Wade that he's held on in there and he needs to prevent Taylor winning this leg with the throw to nine daughters to win the Premier League and to break the world record is still possible he's on 112 at the moment 116, he averaged against Pot a year ago. 58. You mustn't ride Wade off. No. To say he's the man who ran seven legs on Barney at 120 average in a Premier League match last season. He needs to keep them there though in the red bits. The champ giving it his all. Yes, no credit to Wade. We keep saying that, but Taylor looks like he means to grab the trophy, to regain the trophy. Oof. And uh, he's down, he's gained, what, 50 in the lead. And all Wade can do is hit hard and hope. Snatchy dart, do a lovely recovery. Look at that! But the fight that Wade has made. Just look at those facts and figures. 100 sir. pluses, one in it. Now in the 140s. 12 180s in the match. Make that. 13. Make that 13. This is Fantavidocialis. Well, Taylor on 123 for the title. He's done two nine darters. He's done a 10 darter. Surely, if he checks out here, Sid, to take the trophy, you and I can die happy. I might have a pint shandy first. To reclaim that title, he's won four times. He wants to set the shot up and make Wadey. 83. Wade has had two shots above 120 out to save the match and hold on to his title. As they get the treble 17. Misses it. And that could be 57. the final act, and this could be the Jamie climax Kwan of what has 40. been the greatest darting match in history. Gonna watch the flight. Has to come left, half an inch. That's a lie, he might go right, middle. 20. Still, as I say, 
Yeah, he's had some six, 64. seven, and five comebacks in the last 14 weeks. Yes, you know, and uh, Wade would have the darts here in the next leg. Now, double top, so important, so critical, so Ladies accurate. Charles in a 17 play. Greatest darts Great match play. in history. Two nine darts, and he still can't get the oldest shot line of his back. James to throw first. Game on. And uh, Wade is still in there with the throw. <laughs> Taylor has done two nine darters oh, and a ten man. darter. He's averaging 110.92, and he still hasn't got this match wrapped up. Great is Tungsten playing in him. David Allen's ever seen joint coming to an experience of about 74, 75 years. Loving it. Lie in the middle. Easy as pie. Whoa. Space Cadet Happy! I, I think it's something like the last five legs he, he's been on a possible nine darters. <laughs> 100. And Wade matched him with the first six earlier. Thinking nine darts for three in a match. One on the stack now. Let's get the green bit. The green, green grass. Down below there. Nice line. Here's the line beautifully. 34. Disillusion from the crowd in the most good natured way that Taylor has somehow blown another nine darter. Still with a chance, you know. Well, well this is there. fantastic. The holder wins. Right, got to go lateral, not the easiest with that lie. Has to come. 99. Sloppy shot. Right, take us to the 19 and decide in the leg of this been sensational match. Needed the treble to start the combination. The power is on a two darter to get his fifth Premier League title dead running. 88 the shot. He will make up his Very mind which way he's going to go for the match at 125,000 pounds. 28, double, 14, for the title. Now, Sid, which way will he go? Barrel! Yeah. Brilliant! Air shot! You have just seen what the best televised dance match ever! The holder went down, Taylor did two! Repeat, two nine daughters. What do you say, Dave? Go tell your grandchildren, your children, and your children's children, you've just watched the greatest dance match there is ever likely to be. That was phenomenal. So it's time for the Space Cadets to dance. Senior Space Cadets will go to intensive care for oxygen. Taylor wanted it. Wade had something Taylor thought was his. And we saw two nine daughters, the best game that we in Dave Lanning have ever seen. What a match, dude! What do you say? Well, that's a lovely picture there because it was played in the finest of sporting spirits. All credit to James Wade. He really made to be in there at that late stage against a player like Taylor in that form. We repeat two nine darters for the first time in over 40 years of darting on television. Taylor did two nine darters and a ten dart finish, and Wade pushed him the whole way. You will never see anything better or more superior than that. And it's out to Dave Lanninson next to me, caught the first ever televised one in 1984. Taylor, two nine darters, champ of the Premier League, yet a game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you'll never see a better final than that. That is the PDC's Wynum Mackay Premier League final, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's the presentation, and would you please welcome, he's an actor, he's a comedian, but he's the world's number one darts fan, and we're pleased to have with us tonight, the one and only, Mr. Stephen Fry. So, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, the runner-up, who receives 65, thousand pounds that goes to James Wade and now ladies and gentlemen the winner receiving 125,000 pounds the comedy trophy but most important of all the title of White and Mackay 
Premier League champion, ladies and gentlemen, the legend, Phil the Power Phil Taylor, in nearly, in nearly 40 years of televised darts, you are the first man ever to get two nine darters in one game. That must make you very, very proud. It does, it makes it, I, I, I'm absolutely, um, do you know what, when I went, I was going for the third one, when I missed my treble 17, they all booted me, it was dead weird. I'm, 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 I'm speechless, obviously I'm over the moon about winning, winning me, me title back. Um, one, of the, one of the greatest finals, I think, ever. They can forget the Kevin Painter one now and the Barney and the Mike Gregory. I think this is one of the best finals ever. I don't know what the averages were, but Jane, but even when I did the nine artists, James was still right behind me and he was pushing me all the time. And I thought, you better do another now. I thought I was going to do another one. I thought there was going to be three there. You, you're 112 average, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and I won. And James was 100. I was, um, I'm, I'm speechless, I'll be honest with you. For the first time in my career, I'm, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. If I was to never throw another dart again, I don't think I can ever replace this moment now. You know, the people that came last night, I'm so sorry they went here to witness, you know, what's gone on. I'm sure they're at home now, kicking the television screens, and but, but the people that have turned up tonight have, have inspired all four players to produce what we've produced. What's left for you to produce in this game? Because you, you've done it all now. Well, we got, we got, well, I mean, I mean, my dad, God bless him, I mean, he's dead now, but he used to say to me, Philip, tomorrow morning you've won that, get ready for the next one now. You know, that's gone, that's history. So for me now, go home tomorrow. Um, I'm actually going to Manchester on Wednesday. I'm having uh, a waxwork dummy done for Madame Tussauds, which I'm absolutely delighted with, me and Tubby Brown. Um, so it's home tomorrow, back on the practice board, back in the gym, and he's paying dividends now. You know, I'm, I'm trying everything, everything possible I can do to, to pr improve. That's what I'm doing. Phil, it takes two to make a great final. James Wade, come over, James. <laughs> Disappointment, but you must be amazed to be involved in such an incredible, incredible game as that. Well, he had to hit two nine darts to beat me. <laughs> No, no, no. Um, yeah, it was a great game to be involved in. Um, as every perfectionist, though, you know, I, I wanted to do a little bit more in, the, in patches, but Phil played amazing there, so he can't do much more than what I did. I mean, and you did as well. I mean, you, you could have beaten him. Uh, could have, could have, should have, maybe, buts, if shoulds, coulds, maybe. But uh, no, oh, yeah. Phil did something special there, and he had to do something special to beat me. So that's a compliment to myself. Um, you know, there's, there's obviously more to come from James Wade. Um, I'm getting older now, very old. Um, but there's more to come. It's more experience for me. You know, I, I don't think you'll ever see two nine darters hit in such a short format. You know, and it's a compliment to myself for someone to have to hit two nine darters to beat me ten eight. James, you did yourself proud. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. A brilliant runner-up in James Wade. Great word. Quick word with Phil Taylor. Phil, this was the only tournament you didn't win last year. Is it possible you could go one better and do the clean sweep of an entire season again? Well, I, I, that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm trying trying to do. If I can, obviously I will. I mean, I'm going to be practicing again tomorrow. I'm going to go home tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm going to do about an hour before I go to the gym tomorrow. And I'm going to be trying everything I can to keep prolonging my career and keep winning. You do... You know, you do get into that winning, winning mode, you know, and it's, it's, it's hard to get out of. I did have a text earlier on, Eric Bristow texted me earlier on and he wished me all the best. He's shattered at the minute, and I know Eric's watching, so Phil, cheers, fella. They haven't seen this with the commentary on, so ladies I'll and gentlemen. I'll something else as well, Ronnie O'Sullivan's nine, uh, 147s. <laughs> I'm getting you do it closer. two ways. Let's just show you the nine data from Phil Taylor. Which one? <laughs> Which one? This is the second one to make history.
and finishing like that. Oh, mate. When you're going for a double 12, I did say to Rod Arrington during the break, I you said... You said you were going to do it, didn't you? Could be, I said there could be two nine artists tonight. I thought James is one of going to hit one, maybe even three. But I, I, I just knew both of us were, were, you know, were on song and I thought there could be another one. You know what we should do, Dave? We should give the last word to this this fella. He's coming. His support it is. Uh, I mean, he supported us all. He's a massive fan, and we all love him. Stephen, you, your first time at the darts, and what a night to come here! It couldn't be improved. That's probably the greatest sustained period of professional darts play in the history of the game since the first Greek ever picked up a dart. It's never been done better. And I, I, I mean, we are all in complete awe of Phil's extraordinary achievement to get two nine dart finishes in a final. Of, of a great tournament like this but I think he, uh, Phil would agree with me that no one else in the world could have stayed with him as close as James did today it was unbelievably impressive how like a terrier he clung to you and uh, I, I could see there was a moment when your face set and you thought I'm not going to canter this I'm going to Stephen gonna we're going to run out of time but congratulations Phil Taylor everybody a power surge at Wembley see ya